Hi guys, today we're making wall sconces and we're using charger plates from the Dollar Tree and we're also going to be using mirrors from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. We're going to be using this rectangular charger plate and I'm finding the center with my ruler. I'm just going to mark the line then I'll use my axaw to cut my charger in half. And you want to take your time while cutting. It, the material is rigid but it's easy to cut so just be careful not to press too hard. So I'm also finding the center of the lip so I can place my axle right on that mark and that way both pieces will be equal. I was pressing a little bit too hard so I have a crack but um, I'll just use that part on the back area. I'm just using a piece of paper towel to clean off the dust and then I'm going to glue both pieces together with my hot glue. So as you can see, it's nice and strong with the hot glue, but you can use a strong adhesive if you'd like. Next, I'll use two pieces of tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be attaching both pieces with my strong adhesive. This is the Aileen's Rapid Dry. Then I'll glue both pieces to the back of my charger plate and I'm just using a straight edge to align the pieces so they can sit right up against that edge in case my cut wasn't straight. And this will be the hook that I use to hang my sconce on the wall and that's the reason for using my strong adhesive. Now the charger plate is gold but it has scratches so I'll spray paint it with my Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold Spray Paint. So now my spray paint is dry. I also painted a piece of my bamboo skewer. This is also from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use my pliers to cut it into pieces and each piece measures 1 and 7 8 inches. I want them to fit right between that groove so I can glue them in. I'm preparing my crystal garlands and I'm using three jump rings and three stones. So I'm just separating the pieces and we're going to be using 23 pieces of these. And all the items I'm using, I'll list them down below the video in the description section so you can find them if you'd like to. And I'll be using my fairy light. Um, this is very bright. It uses two 2032 batteries and they sell them with remotes, but I don't have the remote for this one. So this is the one I'll be using and I'll list it down in the description box below. So if you'd like to find it, they are fairly inexpensive and the batteries are included. I'm just going to fold my fairy light into smaller pieces so it can fit underneath my wall sconce. And there we have it. Then I'll take another piece of my tumbling tower block and I'll glue it right in the center and attach my fairy light. And I'm making sure that the, the screws are facing upwards so when it's time for me to change my batteries, it will be easy to access. And I'm putting the light towards the front of the wall sconce. Now it's time to attach my crystals to my pieces of skewers and for each skewer I'm placing three pieces of my crystals. I'm going to place the first one in the center and this piece shouldn't be covering the screws because remember you have to be able to um, remove the, the, the screws in case you need to change the batteries. So I'm just putting the hot glue on both ends of the bamboo skewer and I'm just holding it in place a few seconds until it dry. And then I'll attach the pieces for the end. And all the skewers are getting three pieces of my um, garlands. I'm attaching my third one to the next end. And then I'll put two more in between those spaces. So we have five rows of three so far. That's 15 pieces. And then we have the spaces, four spaces on each side. So I'm just going to use my hot glue to attach the jump rings on the inside just so it can look a little bit fuller. And in case you want to recreate this, just make sure you leave this part for last, okay? It's easier. So we'll do the same thing for the next side. Now we're done with this section and now it's time to add our mirrors. I'm going to be using acrylic mirrors. And I'm just using my ruler to mark my acrylic mirror. Then I'll use my utility knife to cut the pieces. And the piece for the center measures four and a quarter inches by six inches. I use my utility knife to make the first two scores and then I finish up with my scissors. 
and the acrylic mirror is nice and shiny it has plastic on top i'll just leave that until i'm done it's also self-adhesive so i'm just peeling off the back and attaching it to the front of my wall sconce next i'll cut the pieces for the sides um and they measure two inches by seven inches each they're self-adhesive but because it's right on the edge i'm also adding my hot glue and this is the top i think that was six and three quarter inches by two inches for the corners to cover up the seams i'm going to be adding this rhinestone ribbon i'm just going to try to line them up so three pieces three rows of the rhinestone fall on the top and I'll be able to curve the other three. This is um, a six row rhinestone ribbon. And it's also self adhesive and it sticks very easily. So I'm going to do the same thing for all the corners, except for the bottom area where the garlands are. I have to cut um, the three rows for that section and it's very easy to cut. And I'm also placing some of the rhinestone ribbons on the top on the inside and I'm just trying to line up the pieces and for the corners I use my utility knife to cut them and now we're done with this wall sconce all that's left to do is remove the plastic from off of the mirror and clean the mirrors and remember this is how we're hanging it for our next DIY project, I'm making a second wall sconce using the Dollar Tree mirrors. And this is the 4 inch mirror. I think this is 4 inches. I'm just using a little hot glue and a piece of paper to cover out the mirror. So I can use my X-Acto knife to carve out the piece. And that way I can spray paint them without messing up my mirror. When I'm spray painting it, I'll be resting a can or something on top. That way the paper won't be lifting up. I'm also using a Dollar Tree mirror frame. This is the 8 inch mirror frame. I'm not using the mirror. And I'm also using a bamboo skewer. To cut my skewers, I'm using a garden shears. It seems to give them a nicer, neater cut. I'll cut five pieces of my bamboo skewers. The first piece will be eight inches. Then I'll cut two pieces at seven inches and two pieces at six inches. I'm just lining them together so they can be nice and straight and then I'll use my hot glue to attach them. And I'm just using my shears to even the edges. I'll be attaching my skewers to the large mirror frame but you want to leave this part for last okay. I had to take it off and you'll see what I mean. I'm attaching the skewers to the front of the mirror frame. The front will actually be the back of our wall sconce. And I'm just scraping away the excess glue because this is the front and it will be showing. Now it's time to spray paint and for the inner rim right there I'll be using my Rust-Oleum Code Chrome. And for this section which is the back and the sides and this small mirror I'll be using my metallic gold. And here's the result. I spray painted the inner rims first, then I used my gold to spray paint the back of my skewers, then I flipped it over and spray painted the rest of it gold. And I also spray painted this small mirror gold. Now it's time to attach some fairy lights. And I love these fairy lights. They're very bright. Just one of them is needed. I'm going to start from the top. This should be the top, okay? I'm going to start from the top. And I'm just going to stretch my fairy light going all the way around and I'll tack it with glue in some areas. And I'm trying to keep it on the inside only. And I began wrapping my light where the first bulb is. Now 
now we're done it's looking good time to move on to the next step and i'm going to be using these crystal gems um, these are base fillers they look very nice when the light is reflecting so i'm just going to glue two i'm trying to keep them in within that um, groove i don't want it to go upwards because i have to glue my other mirror on top so I'm trying to make sure it's inside of the frame. And I'm making sure to leave my light cord hanging right at the center. So what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the two first gems are well secured. And all the rest will be attaching to those gems. And I'll also put a little glue on the edge of my frame. Please do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, please go ahead and subscribe it's free and if you are a subscriber please turn on the bell notification youtube is telling me that not many people have the bell on and that's why my views are low all right so if you'd like to see more videos please turn the bell on because that's how you'll get notified whenever i post a new video also please remember to give me a thumbs up i'll really appreciate it thank you now we're done attaching gems and it looks very nice. I love how these ice gems look when the light touches them. So remember I said I had to take off the back. I need to make sure that the skewers are attached to both pieces of the mirror and that way it will be stronger. Okay, so I'm using my strong adhesive along with my hot glue and I'm placing the small mirror right on top of the large mirror and I'm making sure that the hook is centered okay after i put my skewers back on i have to make sure that the hook is centered the hook on the small mirror for the wall so i use my strong adhesive and my skewers with a uh, hot glue and i'm using that to hold both pieces together and then i'll just leave it overnight to dry by the way the aliens rapid dry that i'm using it dries very quickly but just to be safe, I'm leaving it overnight. Now I'm attaching my light pack and I'm just going to put it right on the edge. Making sure that the part with the switch is hanging out but not too much. And the screws are turned upwards. So it's nice and tacky now but I'm just turning it over to show you the next step is just to take off the paper. Clean the mirror and then we're good to go. And here's the final result of both our wall sconces. This is the one that I used the charger plate to make. And this is the one that we used our mirror frames. Let me know which one is your favorite. And if you'll be recreating any one of them, I would love to hear about it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to see more sconces on my channel, just click on that link on the right. All right. Take care. Bye.